compared with Otter 7S. Otter 8S is different in the following aspects. First, removal of the rear cover. For Otter 8S, pry open the rear cover at its lower left corner and loosen the snap fit. For Otter 7S, pry open the snap fit beside the SIM card tray first. Second, removal of the battery. The battery of Otter 8S adopts battery package film that allows the battery to be removed directly both in and out of warranty. The battery of Honor 7S is attached using the adhesive. Therefore, it cannot be removed separately in warranty. The front cover assembly needs to be replaced. Prepare the required tools. Power off the phone. Use the eject bin to remove the SIM card tray. Pry open the lower left and lower right corners of the rear cover using an opening pick. Swipe the opening pick along the edges to loosen all snap fits. Move the rear cover up and down to remove it. Use plastic tweezers to remove the battery mylar. Use a manual or electric Phillips screwdriver to remove 9 screws from the PCBA and 8 screws from the speaker. Use a plastic spudger to pry out the PCBA support to the headset jack. Remove the PCBA support. Pry out the speaker at its upper right corner. Use plastic tweezers to loosen the coaxial cable heads on the PCBA and subboard. Remove the coaxial cable. Use the B2B connector removal tool to remove the battery B2B connector. Main FBC B2B connector on the PCBA. Front camera B2B connector. Rear camera B2B connector. Remove the front camera and rear camera. Use plastic tweezers to remove the mylar from the side button FBC ZIF connector. Loosen the keyboard clip of the ZIF connector. Clamp out the side button FBC. Use a plastic spudger to pry out the PCBA at its upper left corner. Use the opening card and lint-free cloth to remove the thermal adhesive from the PCBA in front cover assembly. Apply around 120 megagrams of thermal adhesive on the positions as instructed. Check that the rubber cover of the headset jack is not detached. Align the lower right corner of the PCBA with the locating pin. Press the PCBA in place. Fasten the side button FBC ZIF connector. Fasten the ZIF connector keyboard clip. Attach the Mylar. Install the rear camera into the front cover assembly. Fasten its B2B connector. Install the front camera into the front cover assembly. Fasten its B2B connector. Fasten the main FPC B2B connector, battery B2B connector. Fasten the RF heads of a new coaxial cable on the subboard and PCBA. Fit the coaxial cable in the metal snap ring on the subboard. Use plastic tweezers to fit the coaxial cable in the groove. Align the speaker with the locating pin and install it on the front cover assembly. Align the PCBA support with the locating pin and install it on the front cover assembly. Use a manual or electric Phillips screwdriver to tighten 9 screws on the PCBA support and 8 screws on the speaker. Attach two warranty stickers to the specified screws. Attach the battery mylar to the instructed position. Remove the battery mylar. Use a manual or electric screwdriver Phillips to remove 9 screws from the PCBA and 8 screws from the speaker. Pry out the PCBA support at the headset jack using a plastic spudger. Pry out the speaker at its upper right corner. Use plastic tweezers to loosen the coaxial cable head on the subboard and PCBA. Remove the coaxial cable. Remove the battery B2B connector. Main FBC B2B connector on the subboard. 
Use a plastic spudger to remove the USB subboard. Align the USB subboard with the locating pin and install it in place. Fasten the main FPC B2B connector, battery B2B connector. Fasten the RF heads of a new coaxial cable on the PCBA and subboard. Press the coaxial cable into the metal snap ring on the subboard. Use plastic tweezers to fit the coaxial cable in the groove. Align the speaker with the locating pin and install it on the front cover assembly. Align the PCBA support with the locating pin and install it on the front cover assembly. Use a manual or electric Phillips screwdriver to tighten 17 screws, including 9 screws on the PCBA support and 8 screws on the speaker. Attach two warranty stickers to the specified screws. Attach the battery mylar to the instructed position. Use plastic tweezers to push out the rear camera lens from the inner side of the rear cover. Remove the adhesive. Apply a piece of new rear camera lens adhesive. Attach the rear camera lens. Press the lens for 30 seconds. Use metal tweezers to pry out the proximity light sensor subboard at its bottom. Remove the adhesive. Attach a piece of proximity light sensor subboard adhesive to the slot. Install the proximity light sensor subboard in place. Align the rear cover with the top of the front cover assembly. Press the edges to fasten all snap fits. Insert the SIM card tray into the phone. Check that the phone can start up properly. This is the end of the video tutorial. Thanks for watching.